Hey, nice job, Fetus. You just wrecked my epic solo. Keep it down. Look, I know you're not too familiar with how books work, but I can't read without trying pages. Uh, it's, oh. it's Darren. You know the deal. Leave or pillowhead. <sighs> Yo, D-Train, what up? No, dude, I can't go for chicken right now. Last time I drove that far, my tire fell off. But dude, I'm glad you called. Hold on to your panties for this sick jam! <gasps> That little old ant think he could move a rubber tree plant. Come on, everybody, we're cheering up Sue. Everyone knows that ant can move the rubber tree plant because he's got I hope. Yep, we'd officially become the Donahues. I know, it was disgusting. He's got high apple pie in the sky. I hope so. When you do it, I hope so. Hi, Frankie. We gotta get this car across the street. Hi, sir. Oh, God. I can't afford to lose the Donahues. They feed me real food. They told me how to brush my teeth. If I lose that family, I've only got this family. Got the lamest assignment ever. Get in line. Mrs. Johnson is forcing us to write a speech or do a video on a life-changing event. Something I haven't had. I mean, people who meet me have the life-changing event because of my awesomeness, but I can't very well meet myself now, can I? What am I going to do? Wait till the last minute and turn in something that squeaks you by with a C-? minus. Yeah, that was totally my plan, but then I found out this is like 30% of my grade. I mean, that's more than half, and I got nothing. Nothing. Axel, you're only 17. Nobody expects an earth-shattering story. Just think of something that was meaningful to you and write about that. You know what's life-changing? Helping your dad snap this tree into 400 pieces so it'll fit in the trash barrel. Dude, it's like a totally lame assignment. I mean, we're only juniors. What big life-changing event could we have even had? No, it sucks. Probably just gonna write about the time I got trapped under the ice at Patoka Lake. That counts, right? What? Yeah, I can't decide between the time I helped deliver my baby sister at the carpet store or the time I was pronounced dead for two minutes when I was six. What do you guys like better? What about books? Is there any book that's had an impact on your life? Uh, what am I saying? Hey, what about the summer you spent at the lake with Grandpa and you helped him fix his boat? Oh, yeah. I remember that. Oh, I got so tan that summer. I was really hot. You got nothing. I know! I Darren died for two minutes when he was six. What? He did? His mother never told me this. What happened? You guys suck. Yet no cure. <laughs> this has been such a life-changing event for me. His brother, Axel Heck, Mrs. Johnson, Sixth Period English. It's the not knowing. That's the hard part. Oh, and the dying. Actually, they're both hard. I have to give my brother all these medicines every day. If I could give any advice, it'd be live, love, laugh. Someone call it a burden to care for a brother so sick with this horrible disease. I call it life-changing. I just hope I can one day frolic in the sea. That's all. One day in the sea. So freaking life changing. <laughs>